<clears throat> Hello out there in YouTube land. Welcome to what will hopefully be the first installment of my uh, documentary on building myself a wearable computer. As you can see, I am wearing a pair of uh, MyVu Crystal uh, over-eye uh, displays, or head-mounted displays. Uh, they work really well, actually. They're quite nice. I, I think that the uh, internet pictures don't give justice to the sheer lack of size of these things. They're really quite tiny and extremely lightweight. Um, they're, they're, they're excellent. The, uh, the control device is right here. Again, let me just give you an idea of how small this is. I'm, I'm holding it into my, in my hand here. It's, it's tiny. Uh, so yes, everything about the uh, MyView Crystal is tiny, which is nice because, you know, you want a wearable computer not to be too big. So, anyway, my plan is to take these dual screen, if you will, uh, uh, glasses and turn them into a single display. I, I want to take them apart, void my warranty, and uh, basically make a single one-eye display out of it that will be mounted to a pair of glasses. Uh, hopefully that should make it look a little bit more normal. Well, not normal, but at least a little bit less Borg-like. Although it is worth noting that I actually have a fair amount of periphery vision. I'm looking directly into the camera right now. I can see it just fine. I can't tell whether you can see me because I'm actually looking at the output of the camera on the, the uh, crystal display. So <laughs> I, I can't tell, but I will be able to soon. Anyway, so this is step one. As you can see, they work great. They're actually quite nice. I would highly recommend them. Uh, but we're going to see whether they'll work well for a wearable computer. I've just taken the first bit of the casing off. This little bit of plastic here just slipped on there. Uh, as you can see, maybe... Oh yeah, that won't focus, but... As you would be able to see, that was hiding two tiny little screws. So I'm hoping that some of this other casing will come off fairly easily. In case it wasn't clear from that a second ago. This just pried off. It was just glued on. It was it was almost falling off. It was fairly easy to remove. Next step of disassembly done. As you almost certainly cannot see, there is glue holding that plug in place, which is really annoying. So I'm going to have to get rid of the glue. And this part, the part just inside of this plastic sheath actually also just pried apart. It was not uh, screwed in. I thought it was screwed in. That was wrong. It was just glued in. As you can clearly see, I have now removed the casing from both sides. Really nothing to report. The left eye, it was just as easy as the right eye, of course. Okay, my current suspicion is that this frame here actually should just pop right off. Like, none of this is really attached to that frame. And so, if that's the case, there's the problem that there's this bit of really mega glue right here that does not want to come off. I, it looks almost like they actually melted the two pieces of plastic together. It's such an insane gluing job. Um, but I don't have any confidence in that analysis at all. I might find out that ultimately that's not what I need to take apart, but something needs to come apart, and I'm just going to keep right on prying until I figure out what. Eventually this little black frame popped off, although, as you can probably plainly see, it left a little bit of itself behind. Uh, but hopefully that's not a problem, because again, I don't need to use this piece, so... I'm getting closer to my ultimate goal. Now I just need to figure out how to pop this actual frame assembly, this actual display assembly, out from the frame. Okay, this was an interesting discovery. This piece, the part you actually look through, the viewport, if you will, is actually just a completely separate, electronics-free piece of glass and plastic. So it popped out, and now I just have to remove that projector, for lack of a better term, and it looks like it should just slide out once I've got once I've got this piece sort of separated, so it's looking pretty good at this point. I don't know how I'm going to get this to sort of stay attached to that, but I can worry about that once I've got this piece out. 
Well, I have that part out. Oh, I should mention, I, I took off the other earpiece entirely. There was really nothing left to do to take it off. I just got rid of it because it was in the way. Anyway, unfortunately it looks like I'm pretty much going to have to break the plastic at this point because these two pieces are connected and just so incredibly thick that I can't pry them apart enough to get this piece out. I can do it with a pair of pliers, but only with both hands. So that doesn't help me any because I only have two hands. So I'm just going to stick a large screwdriver in there and hit it with a hammer and hopefully break the plastic without breaking anything else. Okay, I finally managed to get the uh, amber piece off. As you can see, I did that by just shattering it entirely, but hey, I don't need it anymore. Uh, so this is the result. I just taped everything together crudely because as it turns out those black pieces were all being held in place by the amber piece. But in fact the tape is working surprisingly well. Um, what I'm going to try to do next is take off this uh, eyeglass piece because that's what's sort of forcing it to be right in the middle of your vision. Uh, mount it back in the uh, original mount just to sort of cover up all the electronics. Uh, and then maybe I can mount it to some glasses. So, we'll see. So here it is. Single eyepiece. It's been mounted into the frame. Except for a little bit of tape sticking out, it actually looks pretty okay. And of course, you know, it's just sort of bare wires hanging out here, but they're all taped in. I don't think that there's too much danger of them getting broken. So, if I just uh, mount this to some glasses like this, then I've actually got a pretty good little one-eye headset here. Uh, I think the mounting actually shouldn't be that complicated. This should pretty well just fit. Um, yeah, I think this turned out pretty darn well. I would highly recommend the Maivu Crystal as a uh, way of making a one-eye headset. The second installment of this series should be mounting it to glasses. I'm actually having some safety glasses shipped because, well, they're clear and I don't wear prescription lenses. Um, that one shouldn't take too long. And then the third installment will be hooking it all up to the Pandora, but that'll be in a month or so because the Pandora isn't shipping yet. And then I'll have a complete wearable computer.